All right, let's get banana control. You got the molly? Oh yeah, I got. Oh, what molly are you talking about? Uh. Well, let's get that banana control. You got that flash ready? Uh yeah, where am I flash? Oh my god. Cut! 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 Your legs, they are so tiny and weak. Do you even know what you're doing? Or are you just taking banana because that's what the pros do? Look at my legs. They are so powerful. Let me show you the way. Welcome to the Learn to Carry series. I'm going to teach you many ways to control and dominate your enemies with techniques that will work against both plants, professionals, and pugs, and matches. This content is made to maximize your success in solo or duo, but works equally well, if not even better, in team environments. Now this video will be focusing on banana control specifically. Banana control isn't only about B-Sight. It's about having control of your enemy's positions and being proactive instead of reactive. It is one of the main ways to be ahead of your enemy instead of reacting to what they're doing. It allows you to find early kills. It allows you to get and maintain info or map control. And it allows you to reinforce the A-Sight or arches. Now the first take is the standard take. It takes two mollies, a smoke, one or two flashes, best used on full gun rounds, but be careful on anti-ecos. If you're the person in the back, all you have to do is walk in front of the window in the middle, aim at the teeth that you see, molly deep, and then flash when you guys are ready to go, and peek. And if you're the person in the front, you molly close, you smoke deep immediately, keep your gun out though, and be ready in case someone runs through. You don't want to get caught off guard. As soon as the flash goes, so do you. Easy peasy. Now this is the nade stack take. Make sure to call this really early on so you both have HEs. And also learn to bounce the nade onto the left cubby. If you're the person in front, you'll be bouncing it off the wall in front of you, which I'll show you soon. But this is similar to the standard take, but instead, you guys are looking to nade the player. And if you're the front player, you're doing the same thing, except you're nading on the wall, a little bit left of that white mark you see on the wall there. Now, sometimes when you're running this, you might realize that people are smoking the molly to protect themselves. If this happens, you know that they're logs, just nade stack logs instead, and easy kills. Now this is the brute force take or the early pick, okay? This works great for early picks, or if you have a hero op or want control ASAP, this is one of, in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to do it. All you have to do is throw this smoke right here and throw these flashes. And you can set up anyone with these. If you want control, smoke deep. Smoke will land, it'll extinguish the Molotov, the flashes will come out. And even if your aim is as bad as mine, you'll still get kills. Now let's say you've successfully taken banana control. Congratulations! These are completely different post-banana strategies to maximize your success in recreatable ways for consistent results. Now all these different positions, top of the wall, behind the wall, top of the car, under the car. Now let's say you've ran the op hold already. Try telling your teammates to get in the left cubby. They won't expect him or her to be there. Now all you do is just post up, wait for the contact, and re-peek for easy frags. And this is what it looks like. It draws attention away from them, and they're only expecting the opera to be there. And it's just going to be shots from the side of the head. Make sure to swing on within fight with your teammates. Don't let them die. Now, this is a bit of an X factor. I call this a totem pole setup. You stack on top of the wall and underneath the wall in the same angle. This will catch many people off guard and maybe avoid it against ecos. And if you want the best results, you want to press and play anti-flash. Now that you've learned how to take banana control on CT, it's time to learn how to take it back on T side. First player, molly car, move on the right wall, make sure you don't get up, flash really high and deep so that it blinds the opper. Second player, immediately get into in wood or logs, throw the corner molly just as you see, flash high behind the player so your teammate's not blind, and swing for car control. Now you have banana. This is what it looks like if the if you're the enemy player, right? You're going for the early pick with the op, flash gets you, molly's burning you, you're forced back on the other corner where most people fall back to, and then boom. Another molly's landing, another flashbang is coming. It won't look quite like that, but you can throw that one if you want. Okay, good? Yeah, it's good. Until you peek behind the molly and die to the opera, so be careful. Now, let's say you gave up control early. It's time to retake it and create confusion. As soon as the smoke on bottom banana starts fading, all you do is molly car, do those flashes I just showed you, clear both sides of the cubby while the Molotov is still there, and boom, you have retaken banana control. Or if you want to do a solo, this is actually a way to do a solo. This molly, flash high.
Now this is a little banana surprise. Stand on top of this wood or bucket, aim at the top of the eight and throw these double flashes. We'll call these the EU flashes. Now this is the banana surprise in the sense that you're going to be going right through the smoke into their control off these two flashbangs and catch them running down to establish banana control. This works amazingly if you're on a limited buy or if the enemy team is shown hyper aggressive banana patterns, it makes them feel safe, then boom, dead. Try this with two, three people coming through the smoke. Just make sure you have at least one or two players going alt mater halls to keep things, you know, not easy to predict. Now, this is technically a standard take, but it has a counter built into it. Now, if you're taking banana control and you see double mollies coming, just smoke the top molly and play right behind it. Wait for the smokes to fade, and as soon as it's about to, just molly the corner, flash high, and retake car on them. It should look something kind of like this. This will make the CTs waste their utility thinking they're about to take banana, but then they get interrupted and pushed back. Boom. Easy. You now have a variety of ways to take banana, hold banana, and fight back against enemies if they're trying to take it from you. And to reward you for making it this far, here's a bonus tip. Did you know you can clear second oranges from pool and water? You can even one tap if you line it properly enough. Congratulations, soldier. Maybe now your legs will be stronger in your next game. Remember, knowledge means nothing without application. Try all this in your next games and comment. Let me know if it worked for you or not. And what you want to see in the next video. Bye.